so-called white people, nine either beings. We are an extraterrestrial race. We created everything on this planet, including the human species. We are the original people of every landmass on this planet. We are the original Atlantics. And this is why they do not want you to know your history. This is why whenever we talk about our history, it goes against guidelines. This is why whenever we talk about our history, every other group of people feel the need to join into our discussion. We don't care about who they are. We don't care about what they do, but they sure do care about what we do and who we are. It's because because they don't want you to know that you are God. You created them and all the plants, all the oceans, all the animals. Remember who you are. Peace to the gods. I, as an eternal woman, cannot be racist because I, as an eternal woman, would not create a global system to maintain my survival because I have always lived since eternity. Dear black women, Listen, <laughs> did I almost make you care? Don't worry, you don't have to care because it's actually a black person saying this about black people. So it's totally fine. All I did was replace black with white. So let's take a look at the original video. The truth about black people, nine ether beings. So-called black people, nine ether beings. We are an extra terra astral race. We created everything on this planet, including the human species. We are the original Native Americans, are the original Kemites, aka Egyptians. What I think he's getting at is the out of Africa theory. The theory is that the ancestors of modern humans came from Africa. And this nine ether, I looked it up, it has some like spiritual meaning. Or nine ether beings, but we are extraterrestrial beings and we do not come from the earth. We actually come from this cosmic realm. We are the true extraterrestrial beings here on this planet. This reminds me of that meme, the stop scrolling meme. Have you seen that? Stop, stop scrolling. scrolling. Stop it. And if we can localize into that and meditate on that and find a way to bring that to the surface collectively as a collective African consciousness, we can take back our freedom, y'all. People of African descent possess some divine qualities, which if you ask me, contributes a lot to the us versus them mentality. I mean, if you had a certain reaction to when I was saying this about white people, how white people are gods, I think most people would look at that and say, that's very odd and, and divisive. We are the Moors. We are the Hebrews. We are the original Chinese. We are the original Japanese. We are the original Polynesians. Shout out to my Afro-Polynesians. We are the original people of every landmass on this planet. We are the original Atlanteans. And this is why they do not want you to know your history. Do you think in history class in school, they should be teaching the kids that black people are aliens? They're extraterrestrials. This is why whenever we talk about our history, it goes against guidelines. What? What's going against guidelines? Who's saying you can't talk about your history? This is why whenever we talk about our history, every other group of people feel the need to join into our discussion. Really? That's interesting. I think you said it yourself. You created the human species. You created them. So if a Native American person is talking about Native American people, actually, the original Native Americans were black. If Asians are talking about Asian people, actually, the original Asians were black. Everyone was originally black. So who's actually trying to insert themselves into everyone else's discussion? Everything came from black people. Everything come from black. Japan doesn't want to admit that the original shogun was the priesthood that was brought from Kush. Koreans don't want to admit that Africans brought uh, 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 Koreans onto the islands of Japan, met another African people known as the Ainu, and created what we today call the Japanese culture, even in America. They don't want to admit that the original people were the Twa people over 100,000 years ago coming to this part of the world. I mean, just recently we heard from a man who believed that black people enjoy anime because the original Japanese were black. Black people created everything. And um, as this person is saying, it's because black people, they're actually from a different planet. We don't care about who they are. We don't care about what they do, but they sure do care about what we do and who we are. It's because they don't want you to know that you are God. You created them in all the plants, all the oceans, all the animals. Remember who you are. Peace to the God. He also makes music. So let's listen. Spread love. If I get my hands on your love.
Uh huh. Okay. So as I just said, the us versus them mentality, he literally says us versus them. And then he proceeds to say, you have to pick a side. And if you're picking them, it's you or I. And if it's you or I, you're going to die. <laughs> so peace to the gods, but death on everyone else. That doesn't sound very godlike. That doesn't sound very extraterrestrial to me. I mean, if you are so spiritual, right? If, if you created everything, if you're a god, I would assume you'd have a little bit more of a, a peaceful vibe about you, right? You maybe want to spread more love, not hate. You are quite literally wishing death on everyone who picks them. Who's them? They get war with us. Crackers lying on the news, they just make it up. Who is lying on the news? So you got the racist rhetoric the us versus them mentality that you're promoting here. And historically, that mentality was used to justify oppression of different races, of different ethnicities, saying that others are inferior to you. I'm a bleach demon, as we know. So what does that mean? What does that mean for us white people? Because just by listening to your music, to your other videos, it's not sounding peaceful. Fighting racism with racism is what this is. And it doesn't work, okay? It just creates more racism. So I recommend this person, you can believe you're an eternal being, you can believe you're from another planet, you're an alien, you've created everything, everyone was black, whatever you want to believe, that's fine, that's your right, you can believe it. But there's no need to be calling white people bleach demons, devils, crackers, thinking that every white person is out to get you or hates you because of your race, because that's not the case. Your spiritual awakening, I think it's going to be limited if you have so much hate right? If you have so much hate in your heart, if you feel the need to put other races down because you think they're inferior, I don't think that'll benefit you, actually. The big difference between an Indian, a Native American, and African Americans. See this? This is an Indian. Okay, so now you're an Indian. The original Indian. This, this is a so-called Native American. The government gave these people the right to claim to be these people. This type of African American is an Indian with a European mind. What? He was saying, we don't care about you. You're always trying to get into our discussions, right? What are you doing here? He's sounding a lot like, what was that guy's name? Who hates interracial marriages. Um, oh, Kermonic Zeta. Let's look him up again. Do you remember him? Interracial relationships between my people, my eternal people, and these devils, it disgusts me. Same kind of language here, eternal people, nine ether beings. It sickens me to the core because these devils only are getting into relationships with us and having babies with us to maintain their survival on this planet because they know they are going extinct. So they know that if I can mixed with a little melanin, I can leave little remnants left. I can leave little parasites left on this earth so that I don't completely get wiped the f But that's your destiny. You can't run away from that. And for my people that continuously want to get into relationships with these devils, you a slave, you massa love If you truly knew who you were, if you truly knew where you come from, if you truly knew your history, you would not want to be associated with them you are a disgrace to your kind and your ancestors your ancestors look at you and say you do you know what we have been through and yet you want to pollute our genetic pool right well let's say you truly knew you're um an eternal being okay you should be very spiritual i feel like you should act like it and spread love not this divisive racist rhetoric pollute our genetic pool with these demons these succubus oh you still a slave. That's all right. You love these, you love, you love your massa, you die with your massa, straight up. You know what I think probably happened to this guy? He might have had an ex-girlfriend or something, and maybe she ended up with a white man. I don't know. That's that's one of my theories. Because this is an insane amount of anger towards interracial relationships. I mean, why? I mean it's quite obvious here. You think that black people are superior and you don't want them to be mixing with the demons. And this is fine. This has been on TikTok for years. I think it's been two years. Calling white people bleach demons, devils, all of that is fine. The comments here, God created every single one of us in his image. We all bleed the same. Stop spreading hate and move on. Agreed. Someone else or people fall in love. But he's mad. He cannot accept that. What's your blood pressure? <laughs> I'd love to know because it it must be exhausting. 
being full of that much hatred. I, as an eternal man, cannot be racist because first of all, I, as an eternal man, would not create a global system to maintain my survival because I have always lived since eternity. So my existence is not limited. But these devils, on the other hand, their existence is limited. I don't know, you might be an eternal man, but that sounded pretty racist. You calling white people demons, devils, I don't give a sh if you're an eternal man, that's racist. So they have created a global system to maintain their survival because they know the 6,000 year period is up. I am not racist because I have always lived. So I would never create a system to survive. Yeah, okay, that's too much brain rot. Um, let's move on. Here's an interesting shirt this person is wearing, Caucasity. The casual audacity of Caucasians to do or say whatever they feel with seemingly no concern of being cursed out or slapped. Imagine if there was a similar shirt made by white people, a black people, and a bunch of white people were wearing it around. A bunch of you guys would be talking about some, see, this is the oppression we're talking about. Look what these white people are doing. You see, they're so racist. You see what they're doing. I just don't understand how you guys think it's cute. This one says, me after thinking, bring back segregation while teaching my class, but it was really out loud. Ha ha, tee Oh, so cute. Racism. Ha ha, funny. Ha ha. If this isn't black privilege, I do not know what is. Oh, you're on the white people's team because I what? Because I acknowledge reality? Not on a team. I like this country and I want it to be better. Exactly. Unlike that other guy's song, right? His rap. He was saying, you, you have to pick a side. You have to pick a team. Us versus them. Dear white women, listen. Oh, ma'am, back up. Listen, you're only playing this if you value your life. Is to shut the f*** oh. up. Listen exclusively to black, brown, and indigenous women, femmes, and non men. <laughs> Brought up their privilege, yet you're executing yours right in front of our faces. That don't look like oppression to me. Looks like somebody holds the social power in this situation, and it ain't them. Every resource you have and use your privilege to back us in every way. No. <laughs> Freedoms we have now are because of our fight and struggle. Bet on black. Bet on brown. Bet on indigenous. Put everything you got behind us. Move entirely out of the way. No. You know, I want to know her blood pressure too. I'm, I'm actually concerned for these people. Um, why are you so mad? Calm down. You're being racist. I think it's quite clear that it's not making you happy. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have what I like to call a black supremacist. Someone that believes that the oppression of their ancestors allows them to oppress people in the present. Because of this, they gain some abilities or social power. And for all the people that don't believe that black supremacists exist, Here's your proof. No, I believe. I've I've believed this for quite some time. Um, with what I've been hearing in real life, online, I don't know what you think you're achieving with that, but all that's causing is more hatred in the world, more racism. And of course, there are plenty of black people who are calling this out. So thank you for every black, white, Asian, whatever person who is calling out this nonsense. And that's all for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think about these videos in the comments below. Also remember to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can follow me on my other social media platforms in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. We are the original. <laughs> We are the original Atlantics. <laughs> oh, get in character. We are the original Atlantics, and this is why they do not want you to know your history.